Today, I'd like to discuss the recent developments surrounding Ken Griffin, which suggests that he might be making a strategic move to leave the United States for a location with no extradition treaty. Additionally, I want to delve into the increasing financial challenges faced by banks with the likelihood of several collapsing in March. Hey, welcome to AMC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. According to a tweet from Peruvian Bull, there's a compelling image that indicates Ken Griffin has landed in Antarctica. Tracking his private jet's journey, it was observed departing South America, heading further south, and eventually landing on the Wolf's Found runway in Antarctica. This unconventional move raises questions about Griffin's intentions to escape to a country without an extradition treaty, a tactic often employed by individuals facing legal issues. Countries such as Dubai, Switzerland, and Antarctica lack such treaties with the United States, providing a safe haven for those seeking refuge. Ken Griffin, known for accumulating substantial external debt over the past two years, currently holds around $3 billion in loans, characterized by exorbitant interest rates and significant third-party investments. His recent desperate move involved securing an additional $400 million loan just weeks ago. Griffin has attempted to justify his financial decisions by emphasizing the potential negative impact on pension funds for teachers and nurses when short sellers are targeted. However, critics argue that major financial institutions, including banks, hedge funds, and market makers, intentionally engage in illegal shorting practices and fail to deliver maneuvers. Practical stocks highlighted the deliberate nature of these actions, pointing out that well-established institutions with sophisticated technology and multi-level reviews don't accidentally fail to deliver or engage in fraudulent practices. This intentional misconduct has often resulted in minimal fines for major banks, creating a pattern of regulatory leniency. Shifting focus to the stock market, Grok, Elon Musk's new AI system, has suggested a 42% chance of a squeeze for AMC in 2024. According to Grok, this probability is subject to change based on various factors. Analysts anticipate AMC's stock price surging to $400 or $600 per share over the next few years as the company improves its profitability, revenue, and cash flow. Comparisons were drawn to the trajectories of other successful companies like Tesla, Booking.com, and NVIDIA, emphasizing the potential for new all-time highs as AMC continues to enhance its business metrics. The discussion then turns to the precarious state of banks, which are currently being propped up by the Federal Reserve through the Bank Term Funding Program. This program, initiated in March 2023, has seen a continuous increase in funds, reaching over $130 billion. However, concerns arise as the program is set to expire on March 11, potentially leaving participating banks scrambling to repay $131 billion, exacerbating their financial challenges. David Somers pointed out the lack of public discussion regarding the Fed's plan for the facility and participating banks after its expiry. With only 79 days until the expiration date, uncertainties loom over the financial landscape. The impending repayment deadline and the possibility of increased losses for banks paint a grim picture, leading to predictions of further collapses in the banking sector. Adding to the bank's woes, an article highlighted the potential for U.S. banks to face an additional $160 billion in losses due to a looming crash in commercial real estate reminiscent of the 2008 financial crisis. These anticipated losses, coupled with existing unrealized losses, create a dire situation for banks, making them desperate for financial assistance. In conclusion, the convergence of Ken Griffin's mysterious journey, the challenges faced by banks, and the potential for a market squeeze in 2024 creates a complex and uncertain financial landscape.
The expiration of the bank term funding program and the looming losses in the commercial real estate sector further contribute to the precarious state of the financial industry, raising concerns about the stability of major institutions and the overall health of the economy. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about AMC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.